channel Athlean Analytics. Today, uh, what we are trying to do is I've created a couple of questions, uh, you know, which I have kind of asked during interviews, be it at Swiggy or Walmart as an interviewer and even during my analytics cohort, which, which we are running, right? Uh, and what I have seen is a lot of people tend to make very common interview mistakes, right? And we'll try to understand, you know, how not to make those mistakes and uh, we'll find the right solution to all of those questions. So let's take one question at a time. The first question is, you are given an input table. Let's say the table name is sales and it contains uh, two columns, ID and revenue and there are respective rows in this column. What I want you to do is write a query which will give me two more additional columns. So what are the two more additional columns? I need cumulative sum and I need total sum, right? So cumulative sum is nothing but it needs the summation of all the previous rows above that row. So for ID 2 and revenue which is mentioned 20, the cumulative sum is nothing but the summation of ID 1 revenue which is 10 plus the current row summation which is your ID 2. So 10 plus 20 which will give you 30. That is your cumulative sum. What is uh, the cumulative sum for ID 3? It is nothing but the summation of all the two previous rows plus the current row. So 10 plus 20 plus 30 which is your cumulative sum for ID 3, right? Likewise, that is, this is what we want, right? Uh, now, if you can uh, pause this video, I have actually done or solved this question uh, in one of the tricky question series. It is available and it is available in two forms, right? So you can pause that or you can check the description part and you you'll try to solve this part, okay? Now, the challenge that I have seen is a lot of people, they will tend to make a mistake in the second part, right? As and when they are calculating total sum, they'll, they'll, they'll kind of misrepresent that part or here within even cumulative sum they will make one mistake they'll try to think about partitioning right so let's let's try to see the right solutions and let's try to see what common mistakes people do okay so let's go to the mysql workbench here's the table sales table so i'll just run it right so this is the exact sales table that we have right now the best way and the easiest way to think about this solution is simply think about sum over clause right what is the sum over clause if i can if i already know that this will probably help me in writing the query in a very clean way so from sales all i need to do is select id then select revenue and then do some nothing but sum of what sum of revenue and over all i need to do is order by id by itself this is in ascending order so it takes care of that and I'll just label this as cumulative sum, right? So if you run this part, this will work. Now I'll just help you understand what this, this part is doing, okay? So sum of revenue over order by ID, okay? What this does is, so for ID 2, let's take this case. What is, this was our initial table only with ID and revenue. For ID 2, what it is doing is, it is saying that I will find the sum of revenue column for the first row, from the first row till the current row, right? And how do I find which is the first row? Because you have ordered by ID ascending. So it will ascend the order, it will sort the table at the back end. So ID 1 is first, ID 2 is second, which is the current row. And it will do the summation of 10 plus 20, right? This is how it is working. So it is nothing but the cumulative sum. So what? what this sum over is doing it is nothing it is doing the summation of cumulative sum from the first row till the current row now this is first way of doing the cumulative sum another way how you can write the cumulative sum part is you could also do something like this okay so this is the first way of writing cumulative sum i could also write something like this sum of revenue over order by id and what i know is rows between unbounded preceding so this is unbounded preceding and current row both are exactly the same right this the if you can write like this also you can write like this also there is nothing wrong what this part is doing okay rows between unbounded preceding and current row they are saying the same thing right anything from the first row till the current row it is exactly the same right but i generally prefer writing it in this fashion because first it will help me understand or learn the syntax that's one right and in future when i'll have to calculate let's say 
मूविंग एवरेज ऑफ सेवन विंडो ऑल ऑफ दो थिंग्स राइट दिस सिंटेक्स विल एक्चुअली वर्क फॉर मी ठीक है सो सो यू कुड यूज दिस यू कुड ऑल्सो यूज दिस बोथ विल गिव यू एक्जैक्टली द सेम थिंग राइट लेट्स जस्ट रन इट फॉर सिंप्लिसिटी से लेट्स कॉल इट क्यूमलेट इज सम वन एंड लेट सी वॉट हैपन्स ठीक है सो ठीक है बोथ आर एग्जैक्टली द सेम देर इज नथिंग रॉन्ग ठीक है नाउ यू कैन हैव इट यू कैन इग्नोर इट वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट यू कैन डू दैट पार्ट now how do i calculate total sum that's the only thing that i need to think about right so if you've understood how sum over is functioning right all you need to think about is sum of revenue and what i can do is over and i will not do any ordering simple sum over sum of revenue over that means that you are doing summation for all rows okay that's how it works now if if you run this part you will get this answer right just for simplicity sake i am eliminating this row so that there is no issue and now we have exactly same column that you need let's call this as total sum so whatever was mentioned we've calculated it theek hai now there is one more way in which i can calculate total sum how can i do that think of this if i can write this select sum of revenue from sales theek hai and ye to bahut simple hai ye kya hai ye simply aapko 100 calculate karke de raha hai aur isi ko main label kar deta hu as total sum to ye bhi puri tarah se sahi hai isme kuch galat nahi hai and ye zyada better solution hai as compared to sum revenue over se kyun kyunki ye ek bar run ho raha hai ye jo part hai ye group by mein ya aapka ye summarize karke data ek bar mein de de raha hai aapko ek bar ye select statement run kar raha hai ठीक है यहां पे इंडिविजुअली विंडो फंक्शन हर रो के लिए काम कर रहा है इस तरीके से ठीक है बट गिवन यू आर ऑलरेडी यूजिंग वन विंडो फंक्शन अबव दैट फॉर क्यूमलेटिव सम इट डज नॉट मेक एनी डिफरेंस दोनों क्वेरी सही है दोनों वे सही है आप टोटल सम कैसे भी निकाल सकते हो आप ये भी कर सकते हो सम रेवेन्यू ओवर ये भी परफेक्ट है या फिर आप ये भी लिख सकते हो ठीक है इसमें कुछ गलत नहीं है इसको लेट से मैं टोटल सम वन कर देता हूं ठीक है नाउ इफ आई रन इट देखो ठीक है तो दोनों सही है दोनों में कोई गलती नहीं है परफेक्टली फाइन है अब गलती क्या होती है इन जनरल जो मैंने देखा है बहुत सारे लोग जो रॉन्ग अप्रोच लेते हैं वो पता नहीं क्यों पार्टीशन लगाने लगते हैं तो क्या करते हैं वो अननेसेसरी में पार्टीशन के बारे में सोच रहे हैं जबकि पार्टीशन की यहां पे कोई जरूरत है ही नहीं तो अगर मैं ऐसे करता हूं सेलेक्ट स्टार फ्रॉम सेल्स ठीक है अब अगर मैं इसको चलाता हूं तो आपके सेल्स टेबल आ गई अब वो क्या कर रहे हैं वो बोल रहे हैं कि मैं पार्टीशन कर दूंगा बाई आई Now, whenever you are saying something like this, it means that you've not understood the level of data. यहाँ पे एक ID unique है, ठीक है? तो ID one एक ही बार आ रहा है, ID two एक ही बार आ रहा है, ID three एक ही बार आ रहा है, ID four एक ही बार आ रहा है. अगर आपने partition कर भी दिया by ID, तो इसकी एक ही row है, कुछ फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा. ID two की भी एक ही row है. तो देखो आप क्या लिख रहे हो? Generally जो लोग गलत लिख रहे हैं, वो क्या लिख रहे हैं? What they are writing is they are doing ID comma revenue. For cumulative sum, what they do is they do something like this: sum of revenue over. Now they will do partition by partition by ID, and they'll again do order by ID. They'll get confused here also, uh, and they label it as cumulative sum. Now the problem here is without even running, I can tell you why this is wrong. Every ID is is being partitioned, right? So ID one gets partitioned. So this is one window. This is your second window. This is your third window. This is your fourth window. Now you have created four different windows, and then you are doing the summation of revenue for every window, right? So it will do the summation of revenue for this window. It only has one row, which is just ten. The revenue is ten, so it will give you ten only. So cumul the cumulative sum here for ID ten will be ID one will be ten. For window two, right where ID is two, it just finds one value in revenue, which is twenty. तो उसका समेशन 20 होगा कुछ नहीं होगा वहां पे राइट दिस इज द कॉमन मिस्टेक विच पीपल आर डूइंग अननेसेसरी एडिंग पार्टीशन बाय नॉट अंडरस्टैंडिंग व्हाट वाज द लेवल राइट सो दिस क्यूमुलेटिव सम हियर फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन इफ यू आर डूइंग पार्टीशन बाय इट इज सेम एज व्हाट इज रेवेन्यू ठीक है इट इज एग्जैक्टली सेम एज रेवेन्यू राइट देयरफॉर डोंट अननेसेसरी ट्राई टू क्रिएट पार्टीशंस अंडरस्टैंड द लेवल ऑफ टेबल एंड दैट विल हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड ओके whether you need a partition or not ठीक है आई होप दिस इज नाउ क्लियर टू एवरीवन uh let's try to do few more questions and that will help you understand you know your basic uh, concepts of uh, partitioning joins 
uh, ranking will become very clear for interviews. Thank you. Hope you loved it.